Well, it's time for another bear hawk update. It's been a super busy month. Come into the workshop and take a look. This month has been um, just hugely busy the whole way through. A lot of work on the fuselage, um, sort of all of those last minute finishing off things that um, certainly weren't on the to-do list and uh, put some long hours in. The combination of it all was uh, about three days ago, we got it on the back of a truck, trucked it one hour south down to Ashburton Airfield, south of Christchurch. So on Saturday, we moved the fuselage down to the local airfield and I used a, uh, a very large truck to do this. Actually, it was quite easy to load the aircraft up on the truck in the end, but we did uh, do quite a lot of planning and I was lucky to get two good friends to give me a hand. Here it is just before I moved it out of the shed with the propeller on it um, for the uh, final time, hopefully, and the spinner for the first time. I did run into a few issues getting the prop on and had to take the cowlings off. And uh, here's, here's a picture showing that. Quite a um, struggle to do it by, uh, by myself, actually. So um, in the week leading up to that, there was quite a few small jobs that were done. Here, here's a uh, cover that I made up for the, the dash panel. And uh, these are the fuel lines being prepared from the fuel tank uh, through to the wing route. And you can see some, uh, some 90 degree bends in them. And here's why. You can see in this shot how they have to uh, go through two different ribs at an angle. So earlier I was showing the, uh, the strut fairings and here's another shot of that showing the rubber seals around them. I also put rubber seals around the doors and it just gives a much better seal. Um, the other consideration of course is that when these gullowing doors are open they do present a bit of a hazard. Um, so did a lot of work over the last month on the flaps and ailerons. Here they are being covered and uh, I then rib stitched them and uh, in accordance with AC43. After the rib stitching, I then put on some Stuart Systems Eco Bond, just a uh, slightly diluted layer of Eco Bond, and they're now ready to be uh, primed or uh, filled. You fill the weave on them first. This shot here shows one of the aileron pocket covers that I've, that I've made up. These will go on last once the uh, flaps and ailerons are in place. I did a little bit of epoxy work on the on the uh, wing tips. Here they are just being uh, cemented in place. I left them overnight and they turned out quite well. There's a lot of nut plates on these uh, on the wing roots and the, and the wing tips. I think close to uh, 200 nut plates in the end. So I did the fuel tank fittings. Uh, they're all put in place with a, with a sealant. This shot here shows once again all the aileron and flap covers. There's a lot of them. Now I made up a small bracket for the magnetometer and that's in the left outer wing bay. Oh. The network cable from the magnetometer runs back through the wing route and down to the outer house unit. I also installed a landing light in the outer wing bay. So uh, that's showing the lens from the inside and the next picture shows it from the outside. I have reinforced it in behind and the light is uh, permanently riveted in place although the lens itself can be removed. Or another we'll get it done. What I'm going to do next here is I've got to flip both of these over and do the, uh, the what is the top side of the wings. I'll get this one done shortly within the next hour. When my son comes home, we'll rotate that one over and get that one done. I have to say, having them set up on a frame would be really nice. I did look into that um, in the end for a number of reasons, just decided to do it this way. It'll be good enough. I'm going to have a join mark. Um, most likely it will be visible, but I intend to have it just on the on the top of the leading edge, which will be out of sight for most people. Um, turned out I've already seen one like that and I never noticed it, so that's what I'm going to do. Fairly confident that I'll get a good finish um, other than that, and I actually I think I'll have a really good spent uh, a couple of hours this morning with Scotch Bite Bright Red just preparing the primer. Um, gave it a wash down, um, went over it with tack cloth, etc and then put on the orange colour. So that seems to have come up all right. Um, it's not 100% perfect, but fortunately I've got a bit of a, a tolerance for imperfection there. Overall though, pretty happy with it. Well, I got the top coat on the uh, underside of both wings this morning. There's a lot of preparation involved. It took several hours getting uh, the wings ready. I masked off everything. I've actually managed to get quite a good join line on them and uh, really happy with the results there. It's, uh, it's turned out probably better than I expected. These are the fairings that are going to go around one end, end of the strut and you can see I've attached these uh, rubber fairings that I just got from the um, rubber strips that I got from the local hardware store. They're just glued on with a uh, super glue actually which holds the rubber very very well 
These are the fairings at the top of the gear legs. Same again, just um, strips of rubber only on the top there because of the top that's going to slide up and down against the body of the aircraft. Um, also, the tailplane fairings, um, there's one there. And yeah, so getting a growing collection of parts here. These, these are the little uh, covers that go under the uh, tailplane at the rear um, where the control rod comes out to the rear trim tab. And uh, these are all the small, let's see if I can get a better picture here. These are all the small um, fairings that are eventually going to be painted and these will go on the ailerons and flaps um, to cover the, the pockets, the hinge pockets. Over here I've, I've got a couple of uh, fuel tank covers. They're all prepared for painting actually, so I'll get them done probably in the next couple of days. So yeah, <laughs> looking forward to get, getting my bike shed back too once I've finished this project. So over the next few weeks, I plan on transporting the remaining parts down to the hangar for assembly. We're gonna get the wings on it and the flaps and ailerons and all the small parts. It will then be ready for a 100 hour inspection. We have to do a fuel flow check. Log books have to be prepared and uh, a number of other um, things prior to the civil aviation inspection and hopefully sign off and then we'll commence the test flying. Now, I'm not sure of the time frame on that. Um, the closer we get to it, the, the more things are outside of my control, but I'm certainly looking forward to the process there. So that's all for this month. Stay tuned. I'll give an update in another four weeks. And in the meantime, I'll leave you with a little bit of bonus uh, footage here, um, flying through the Southern Alps of New Zealand again with a fellow Bearhawk pilot. And I hope you enjoy that. Thanks.